15 hours ago, the lives of 12 people were cut short by a senseless, incomprehensible act of violence. This morning, I have the responsibility to inform friends, co-workers, and the public of those who lost their lives yesterday. Lakia C. Brown, Tara Welch Gallagher, Mary Louise Gale, Alexander Mikhail Gusev, Catherine A. Nixon, Richard H. Nettleton, Christopher Kelly Rapp, Ryan Keith Cox, Joshua A. Hardy, Michelle Missy Langer, Robert Bobby Williams, Herbert Bert Snelling. We want you to know who they were, so in the days and weeks to come, you will learn what they meant to all of us, to their families, to their friends, and to their co-workers. They leave a void that we will never be able to fill. Now, before I got ready to do this video, I had to uh, let that be said so the names of the people that were uh, gunned down by this Virginia Beach gunman get noticed and uh, may they rest in peace. So we're told that the Virginia Beach gunman gave a two weeks notice Friday, but, but was in good standing in his job. Um, as we just heard, 12 people was, were killed in a shooting Friday at uh, Virginia Beach Municipal Building. And um, the longtime Virginia Beach Public Works employee behind the nation's latest mass shooting put in his two weeks notice on Friday morning hours before he carried out an attack that killed 12 and wounded four city officials on Sunday. Now, the city manager, Dave Hansen, said the shooter's job performance was satisfactory, did not face any disciplinary measures before he notified the city that he intended to quit and he was not fired. He was in good standings with his department, no issue of discipline ongoing, Hansen said. Virginia Beach Police Chief uh, Severa said investigators will look into whether his employment status was linked to the attack at the city municipal building here. Four victims of the shooting were recovered Sunday at two area hospitals. One at Centara Virginia Beach General Hospital was downgraded from fair to critical condition following a surgery and two others. They remained in critical condition, hospital officials said. A fourth victim was critical but stable at Norfolk General Hospital, a hospital de uh, designated to handle higher level trauma cases. A lot of people were injured. Um, and like I said, those were unnecessary uh, deaths. The investigators continue to probe why his uh, Kradox sprayed bullets into fleeing office workers, workers using a 45 caliber handgun armed with a silencer that police believe was used for stealth and to keep victims from knowing where the attacker was in the building. Today, uh, this is this is looked at as normal almost. We just had a shooting in Vegas, uh, like maybe two years ago, I think, where this guy was posted up in the hotel and he just started spraying, uh, killing a couple innocent people on the strip of uh, Las Vegas Boulevard. And you got these workers, man. They don't know why this dude uh, act like this. As you can see here, you can read along. They describe. Cradock as a car enthousi enthusiastic bodybuilder and seemingly a quiet man. Amanda Archie, 22, uh, and Cassetti Howard, 23, lived in Virginia Beach Town, home beneath Cradock for the past year, and only got to know him in passing, exchanging the occasional greeting. He wasn't much of a talker, Archer recalled. He's a mystery to us. He's a mystery to everybody, apparently. So, these are the people that you have to watch today. It's not the ones that's loud and crazy right in front of your face telling you what they would do. It's the ones that don't say shit that is blowing building up and killing innocent people. You know, we live in such a crazy world today, man. Today is a time 
where you can't tell the nerds from the gangsters because the nerds used to wear tight clothing back in the 80s, the 70s, early 90s. They wore all this tight clothing, uh, and you were considered a nerd or a geek if you wore tight clothes. Seriously, people, do your research. Today, the way the nerds used to dress, today's generation dressed like that with tight clothes, skinny jeans, uh, the glasses, the whole nerd look is like in. It's, it's the next wave to look like the 80s nerds. No shit. So you, and those are the people that's considered gangsters. Look at the rap videos. They dress straight up like the 80s nerds on some real shit. Tight pants, tight shirts. Uh, the, the, the 90s gangsters and early 2000 gangsters wore baggy jeans, hoodies, Tims. So you could mistake, you could think this is a nerd, but he will be considered a gangster. That's my whole point is you don't know the difference. And you could think that the gangster is um, the way from a person's dress that he's a gangster and he would be like a, a nerd or a guy that's normal. You don't, can't really tell the difference. Just like when it comes to these crazy people that blow up buildings. We're so used to stereotypical uh, things like expecting somebody to come in there that, that looks like he's with ISIS, um, to look like uh, they're uh, a gangster, blood, a crip, to look like they're part of some type of cult. And these are the people that security is trained to look at in police to be on high alert for, but it be one of your damn workers that been there for a while that don't say nothing every day that comes and spray the place up. It's sad, it's sick, and you just don't know who to trust or what can you trust. It's, the world is so deceiving. But a lot of innocent people died, uh, and all I could say is that we have better uh, open our eyes up, you know, because... There's too much of this going on. It's like I said, it's starting to get normal. And sometimes you don't know what you could do, but just give it to God because this this guy was so quiet. And some of the people said they spoke to him and knew of him. You never expect he would have done this. But all right, pizza, all the dead and gone. Um, all I could say is uh, I hope this doesn't happen again. Subscribe.